hi lovelies welcome back to my channel if you're trying to stay healthy or be fit or you're trying to reverse or manage a chronic lifestyle disease you will agree with me that packaged food shopping for packaged food can be a big deal so today i'm going to teach you three basic tips in which you can use to identify healthy from unhealthy products this is applicable to cereals edibles edible oils drinks snacks in fact anything that goes through your mouth that is packaged so without any further ado let's get right into it tip number one do not be fooled by the claims in front of the package so because a producer understands that the front of the package is what a consumer sees while shopping first they use the opportunity to make claims that may not necessarily be true so front labels lure you into buying food that may not be healthy but claims to be healthy study shows that listing out healthy claims in front of a package increases the chance of bias an example here is this bottle of jam which is written here in bold no sugar added you would jump on it if you're trying to avoid sugar right well let's verify the list of ingredients here we see sorbitol which is a sweetener another name for sugar with as much effect as sugar does well if you're on a low sugar diet we'll put this away from your cart tip number two carefully study the ingredients list so the first ingredient on the ingredients list is what the manufacturer used the most in that product the second ingredient on the ingredients list is the second highest amount in that product and so on and so forth but depending on your dietary needs and goals it is important to note that the first three ingredients in the ingredients list make the most impact in your health but as a general rule of thumb it is important for you to understand that if the first product contains refined grains any form of sugar or hydrogenated oil we can say that that food is not healthy if the ingredients list is more than two or three lines then you should be sure that to understand that that food is highly processed an example is this milk custard powder it is said to contain cornstarch sugar milk powder milk flavor etc well we can now point out what ingredient makes the most of this product the first being cornstarch right followed by sugar and so on and so forth tip number three serving size is very very important it is very normal for us to pick up a pack of juice or a pack of cereal from the store and immediately look at what quantity of sugar would be contained in that pack and the first thing we see there is what we technically believe is contained in that pack but that's usually not the case. This complex, for example, contains 700 grams for the entire pack. Turning your attention on the nutrition information to know the amount of sugar it contains, for example, we may quickly deduce that 24 grams of sugar listed here is for the entire pack, but that isn't so. Looking right under the nutrition information, we see pay 100 grams, meaning for every 100 grams of this complex, it contains 24 grams of sugar. That's to say that the 700 grams will contain 24 times 7, which is a whooping 168 grams of sugar. The serving size of this product is 40 grams, of which sugar is 9.6 grams. It is indicated to be the highest percentage of any ingredient in this product being 11%. Alright lovely, so just to recap, these are the three basic points to note while you're shopping for packaged products, especially if you're healthy conscious. First is, do not believe all the claims you see in front of the package. Always look behind to verify. Secondly, carefully study the ingredients list. The very first three ingredients is very important and can mean your health to you. The third point is serving size is very, very important. When reading any ingredient list or any amount of a particular ingredient in a packaged product, it is important to consider if it is applicable to the whole pack or the serving size. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. Do well to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.